How's it going guys? Saigo here coming at you with another video on how to speedrun Alien Isolation in no major glitches this time for mission 12. So we don't waste any time, we hop right in, right shall we? So let's go. So mission 12, uh, guys, isn't that hard to do actually, it's pretty easy. Uh, it's more of a relaxed mission to do. <laughs> you can still die, of course, um, but... It's usually not that much of a problem. So remember, go to the left side when you go out here. That was awful. Well, it was then just run upstairs, then to the right side. This is the same spot uh, as you have been in mission 5. This time we go through this door here. Sometimes, uh, guys, I want to mention it. There could be loot over here at this spot, so just check it out. If you have loot there, then you go into the elevator. Nothing special, right? <laughs> totally boring, so let's skip a little bit. Go out of the elevator. You can loot this body over here. Sometimes uh, uh, he has something in it. So go into the computer and spam Q to get out of the computer. Uh, because the code uh, is right at the first page, right? Any enemy, any enemy there is. Don't get with them in the elevators. Or and I think you should remember all the codes, right? This one here is. Oh, you can. Three A two, right? Sometimes there could be loot at the. Uh, oh, you can. Show this again. Sometimes there could be loot right on the floor here. So keep an eye out. <laughs> Then we go into the vent. I'm going to skip a bit forward. Sometimes there could be loot over here uh, on that elevator. But it's funny that I stumbled. <laughs> so let's skip this the person who here a bit. It's nothing important. Now, sometimes uh, there is also um, the coopy. No, I have to say this differently. The, uh, here's a glitch actually, uh, if you get it accidentally, I don't think we make a big, big of a deal of it because it saves like a second or so, but you could get a glitch if you bug out the camera here and uh, actually uh, get a fast access to that vent. Uh, this is not allowed in NMG, so don't try to, to bug out the camera here. Just grab it normally with E and then go into the vent, right? He's a working show, right? So nothing special over here, let's skip forward, get out of the vent and there's actually an android lying around here, right here, you know. Yeah, well, so what you could do, if you don't have any flamethrower left and don't want to waste any shotgun shot or revolver shot, you just uh, go around him like this, on this side, or hug the wall and always watch him, just watch him or go this side here and hug the wall and oh, while watching him, you know. Uh, that way you can get around him without uh, him grabbing you, right? Uh, the other thing we usually do, we usually have a, a, like, if you have one small burst left in the flamethrower, we just use that um, to just kill him, right? And then he should be fine. Could also use the shotgun, but we usually do it with the flame probe because it's easy. You can get it up fast and it's easily done, right? Flame him once and then just continue. Could save over here if you want to. Now, uh, I have the flashlight uh, on because I could sometimes be loot right on the bottom here. So keep an eye out for that. Then we activate the lever and then we go to the second lever to turn it off. Right. And then actually uh, there's an android waking up. I think you already know that. There's a pile of androids right here, you know, <laughs> pile of androids. <laughs> mm, they are smelling. No. <laughs> So uh, they could actually, uh, one of uh, the androids actually wakes up and wants to get to you. Uh, if you are super fast and do everything clean here, he will never grab you. Uh, with the strat I'm actually showing you right now. So 
We are just running straight to the, the next level we have to pull. Do this very clean and fast and he will never get to you. A bit too slow. He will come. He's already there. Have you seen him? I can show it to you again. You see that? Right here it is. He is. With the, with the eyes. So he's pretty close, right? Pretty dangerous. But if you do everything of this clean don't waste any time doing anything else just turn off these two uh, thingies and you should be fine then you see me hock the ball a little bit i'm straving a little bit to the left side uh, if you don't if you are not uh, super fast uh, everything clean at, the, at, at this uh, he may beat you once but that should be fine you know if you don't go into the cycle of beating he will not grab you so you may take a hit from him, which is not a lot of damage. It's like 8%. So we don't care, right? But if you do everything perfectly, he should not be able to hit you at all. Oh my God. Even though it's scary, uh, just try it out, right? So we are going into the vent. Then comes the, the beat up scene with Samuels. Uh, that's not important. So we just continue until we get out of the vent. Then we get through the door. Oh, I need to get through the door here. Then we go straight for the button, right? Push it. Okay. Now I'm going to show you something here. So this is important. Um, there's a trigger point right uh, where these two androids stand here. So right at this line here. So if uh, you have to cross this line first, right? You have to cross this line first and then turn around. Uh, because it actually activates all the android, uh, you know, the door is actually open because you push the button, right? Uh, but um, and the trigger point is right here when the androids uh, become active and we want them to become active but we are not going through the door we are turning around to kill one of the androids with the key card uh, it's always the same android so it's not really hard to do uh, I'm going to show you how turning around right you will hear them activate you know they will uh, start with their uh, you need an appointment. <laughs> uh, so now I'm... Uh, it's, I need to make this a little bit clearer. I can barely see it. It's a bit unfortunate. Oh, you can see it, right? So uh, the thing here is um, you can kill one of the Joes easily with one shotgun shot and then wrench it once, you know should be possible but i see many people mess that up because they don't aim correctly at his head so make sure the entire rectangle of the shotgun when you're aiming him you see that it's it's barely visible here so the the edge the edge top left edge is here top right edge should be somewhere over here uh, need to see that quickly right like this um, if you are too high, you know, uh, the main thing here is basically that whole rectangle needs to be right, uh, fill out this whole head, right? It needs to fill out this whole head. You can't, you can't do it like this. Um, when the rectangle is like this, see many people do this, you know, so half of the damage goes uh, above him you know that's not good should not do that so uh, aim a little bit lower so that you have all all of his head in uh, in the rectangle and you should be fine so keep that in mind shoot him once then wrench him and he should be dead and then just grab the key card from him and then run uh, usually you know, that android is actually just uh, confused. He wants to go this way, right? <laughs> um, and you actually just go around him, hock the wall if possible. 
they're actually uh, you have to be careful where you go um you can only you know these these thingies here will actually block you so there's a, you can only go up here or you can go up here right so but this thing here will block you so just don't walk up there and get blocked and waste time you know because you can get grabbed if you waste time here and that would be bad you would take damage and that's bad so run up here keep to the right side and sometimes there could be an android pretty close to you so what i would do here actually um I need to quickly pause it here um sometimes there could be an android right here right pretty close to you uh scary <laughs> oh, <so> perfect <laughs> So um, I would just suggest that you hug the wall here and then the door need, still needs to open, you know, you can't get straight through. So I'm usually uh, hugging the wall further to the left side because if you do that, uh, the Android will actually pro uh, tries to grab you here, then he needs to turn around and the time he needs to turn around actually isn't enough to really grab you and you can go through, right? So just hug the door, you know, and you should be fine. Always to the left side, far left and then go through. But this time no Android was, uh, was there, so I wasn't really concerned that someone will grab me. So I didn't do that. Perfect. I think I'll go then we go through the, we don't grab the loot yet, you know, the loot room. So we just continue, pulling that lever, there's nothing, in. then we are going for the, uh, for the elevator. And here actually, um, you see me heal here. Sometimes I think I already have healed, so I know that I'm probably 80 to 90% health now, even 100% health. Um, so I should be fine taking the damage here, but if you are not sure if you are below 50% health, heal, you know, if you haven't healed yet, or if you have if you have taken damage in mission 11 or so. So we are just going through, we are taking the damage, uh, that will usually happen. Uh, I've never seen someone getting through here without any hit. So you will take damage. If you're not sure, just wait it out, you know, just wait uh, till you get, can, go, can go through and you should be fine, right? Waste a little bit of time, but you know, yeah. I'm you. counting every second here, so I'm just going through. <laughs> I'm taking the damage because I'm healing afterwards, you know. It's like you knew, you knew. Right, so let's continue this. Nothing important. I need to go quickly back because I need to show you something here. So there could usually, sometimes there could be loot right on this barrel here. Right. Yeah, right. And here, sometimes there could be loot right here. Uh, beside the recorder. Uh, now, if you're not sure what uh, what you should do here and you want to practice, go save here. Just do it. It's no problem. Uh, because we YOLO through <laughs> all the androids here. We are just running through it. Try to to be. Uh, don't don't walk into the. Um, don't trigger the cameras. Should be fine. You will trigger this camera, but it's okay. And this you need to hack fast because the android is waking up, you know, and he will probably hit you. So, heard that? Uh, he hit me. He hit me once, but uh, I didn't hit the cycle where he would grab me then. So uh, I, I'm, I was pretty sure that I was fine. So I took one hit, but it's okay, right? 
Sometimes there can be loot here on the on the floor, so just keep an eye out if there's loot on the floor. There's actually a safe sta a sa a station you could also save after this, you know. Always watch uh, now, something very important. Uh, Samuel goes, goes into this position here, right? You saw him moving over here. And always keep the, mid the middle of your screen uh, centered at him because the dialogue would not trigger. You wouldn't do that. If you watch at the wall to the left side or something and go for a pee, <laughs> don't do it because uh, he would not trigger his dialogue. So always watch him until he triggers. You don't want to miss the trigger. Now he triggered, you saw that. And now you can walk around how you want and do whatever you want. Alright, it's healed. I'm healing now because I took damage, right? Um, checking if I can build another pipe bomb. Uh, now I'm making. I will get two more med kits uh, in this mission, uh, in the loot room afterwards. Uh, but I'm. I will also try to build another med kit because I, I know I will tank some more damage in mission 14, and I will also probably need to heal for mission 16. Then, so uh, I'm building as many med kits as I can. I would also build a flashbang now if I could for mission um, for mission 16, but in this run, uh, unfortunately, I don't have one, so you have to live with that one. So I'm going forward. Uh, the red one is the first to the to the far right side, and then it's just totally easy. Just remind that's just clockwise. You need to activate them. You don't need to remember the colors. It's just clockwise. Easy, right? <laughs> so just go clockwise through the room and activate all of them. Nothing special, really. So we are continuing. We are watching him again, so we can finish his dialogue. Checking the loot again. Don't still don't reload the flamethrower. Remember that. Don't reload it. And if you haven't built the noisemaker yet, build it now if you can. You need it for mission 15. So we are. Now we just wait at this door, you know. If you if you want to save, I'm going to show you. Uh, if you want to save before you go out, uh, quick safety save, right? If you are scared, go through the androids or low health or something. If you go through this door here, uh, you saw when we come, uh, came in, I said that there's a safe station. So just go out quickly, safe there, and then go go back in and go through this door here. You know. So let's see. But I'm waiting at this door until Ricardo opens it up. So I'm going to forward a bit. Now Ricardo opened it up. Yeah, please open that door. Thank you. Let's go. Now we are going through the androids again. Sometimes there could be an android right in your way, so just stun him with the with the re revolver. So I'm running through it again. Should be no problem. Um, now we should be. Sometimes you have. An, ah, I got grabbed here. Stupid, right? <laughs> I missed it. Happens to me as well, right? Happens to me as well. But the other ones you could just uh, skip. This guy will only hit me because the other one al already grabbed me. Remember what I said before. Uh, there's a cooldown happening for um, the game grabbing you again. And so I don't know how long it is, um, but it will actually, uh, it's probably like 10 seconds or so. So the other, other androids will just hit you, you know. So the other important thing here. Really important thing, I need to mention that because it uh, recently happened to me again, shame on me, because it's a really noob mistake, you should know that. Um, if you go to that um, the, the tram here, there's a bug, a glitch here, uh, you don't really want because you can die with this glitch. Uh, so what I uh, would actually say to you, don't uh, aim for the for the button and then just uh, hit E or spam E or something uh, and don't 
aim for the button and spam the mouse. You don't do that. Walk on the tram first uh, so that you are not on that uh, railing here, that rail here. So a rail will come up and, uh, as soon as you hit the button, right? And if you stand on that rail, because you can stand on that rail and push that button, you will actually fall down and die. You know, you will fall down and die. The run will be over. <laughs> so uh, make sure you are on the platform, turn around to the button and then don't mouse wheel it. Forget about mouse wheel. If you mouse wheel it, you will fall down as well. You know, keep that in mind. Don't mouse wheel that button. Go on that platform first, turn around, press E. That's how you do it. <laughs> it's extremely unstable, so just do that and remember it, because you will die. <laughs> Sometimes you can even survive it, but then you will be stuck somewhere down here, because you, uh, the game uh, didn't uh, suppose you to, to be down there, you know, so there's no way out. You would be stuck there. <laughs> you basically soft locked yourself. He's right there. Then you so go on the tram, turn around and press E, right? <laughs> Don't try to be fast here because you will beat yourself if you do. As you see, uh, I even missed I even missed an item. You can see it. I even missed an item. Good that I missed that, so I can show it to you. There's actually probably an injector lying right here. See that? So keep an eye out when you run uh, out here uh, first time. If there's loot on the ground, so you could just pick it up, right? But I wasted it. <laughs> yeah, it's an injector. Yo, welcome back, Liexa. Now we just run, go to the elevator, nothing special. Open it up. Remember that's an elevator that opens the door to the, the same spot uh, where you came in. Not the other side. <laughs> Bad karma because I'm back. I hope not, Lex. <laughs> so, glad you're back. When we are getting out, we're going straight to the left side and don't need to save here. Uh, call the tram and then we are going for the loot room, right? Because we haven't, uh, that's really important. You need to do that. The androids are still stuck over there. You know, they're still not uh, through, but uh, you have to run this whole uh, section here, because if you are too slow here, uh, they will come through and they are in your way afterwards. So run all the way. Don't waste too much time in uh, looting here. So the important thing is here, there's a blueprint on the ground, right? Uh, there's a shotgun here, right? There's also loot laying around here. And I also loot this guy. Nice actually see that then there's loot uh, right here i'm going to show you this i usually go um can i but the run looks pretty nice I need to actually. show this a little bit differently so i can show it to you uh i usually loot uh, clockwise so i'm going this way here right and then I'm going out again. I don't waste any time because I, if I waste too much time, you know, not good. <laughs> because the tram would actually also uh, be stuck and you would lo also lose time like that. So don't waste any time. There's loot here, right? There's also loot here. There was, uh, I think there was an EMP. Yeah, there was an EMP, so grab that EMP mine, really important. Don't, don't grab any batteries, you don't need uh, flashlight batteries. Uh, there's also an EMP right here, so grab that. Really important that you, you need to grab every EMP. You get three EMPs and you will get three Molotovs. Really need to grab them. Keep that in mind, you need to grab them. There's another Molotov right here, you saw that. And there's another one right here. And the uh, last one, the last Molotov is right behind here. Then I turn around. There should be uh, uh, another two items right here. I think that's an EMP, right? And the med kit. And there's another item right here. That's the last one. Grab that and then just go out. 
easy, right? So the androids are still stuck there. They are still not through. There could also be loot over right here. See that? So grab that if there is some. Grab it. And I'm usually taking some detours just to see if there's another. Sometimes uh, if you have really weird loot spots, uh, could be loot uh, somewhere else. So um, that's basically it. You go through the tram and that was mission 12, guys. So I hope you found it valuable. And uh, if you liked that video, give me a like. Ask any questions in the comments below. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. And we see us all in the next one. Bye-bye.